guys. My bookshelf is like almost empty. I've been packing up basically all of my books, all of my stuff, all of my little like knickknacks and stuff. I have like nothing and it's really sad. Um, we're just getting the house ready to put on the market next month. We're hoping that the house can be put on the market. So we've been doing a lot of work. I'm tired. Very sad stuff. That's what I've been doing. And also, I got a new job. I mentioned it in one of my other videos this week. I didn't go into specifics or anything. I got a new retail job, and it's part-time, but I've been working a lot of hours. Uh, too many hours, so I'm very burnt out. If I'm not at work, I'm packing or I'm doing YouTube. So I have way too much going on right now. And honestly, my job has kind of been put in the back burner because I don't know. I have other things that I'd rather be doing than standing for seven plus hours a day pretending to be nice to people. I'm exhausted. So, um, that's been happening. I enjoy having the money, but I feel like I'm stretching myself too thin. But I don't want my YouTube to suffer because of it. Hopefully, after the move and everything, things will be less crazy. But I don't know, because then I'll be in a new place with a new job, and I'll have new issues to deal with. So I really don't know. Everything is changing right now and I'm kind of freaking out, so I don't know what's going to be happening. A little stressed. Very stressed, actually. I'm trying to be as positive as I can, but I'm really not a positive person, so. I got a few things recently and I wanted to show them to you. I went to Rue 21 and I went to H&M and I only got a couple things, but I wanted to still show them off. They're pretty cute things. First off, I wanted to show you what I got from H&M because I actually got quite a few things from H&M. I find some stuff at H&M, but usually it's pretty expensive and not gonna lie, a few of these things were kind of expensive, but the other ones were on clearance, so it all evens out. But I'm gonna show you this little dress. This is the cutest little dress. So it's just a little um, denim button-down dress. Super, super cute. And then the back is just plain. It is absolutely adorable. And I didn't think it would look very good on me because, I don't know, I don't have the whole like cute little body shape, but it actually looks pretty great on me. This was $35 and I got it in a size 12. It's super adorable. I really enjoy it. And it makes me feel very pretty and that's nice. It's getting into springtime, it's getting pretty hot, so it's gonna be nice to have a cute little dress to wear. And the next thing I got are these little shorts and they look kind of like weird because that's the bottom right there. They're short but they go up really high. I like them because they cover like my stomach so they don't show like the stomach line which I think is kind of gross I don't like showing that off so um they're pretty cute little shorts when I saw these there I was like what is that but they're actually really cute and really flattering so that's cool and these were part of the basics H&M basics line they were originally $5.99 and I got them for a dollar and I got these in a medium and they fit. I wear little shorts like that to bed every night so it's nice to have another little thing to wear and they're they're basic they're plain so I can wear like a shirt that has stuff on it and then wear plain shorts because usually all of my pajama separates all have like patterns to them and I look really stupid because they're two different patterns because rarely do I ever wear a full pajama outfit uh, I'm going to show you one, but um, usually they, they don't match, so it's nice to have a plain pair of shorts that aren't crazy. I think I could probably wear them out in public with like a t-shirt or something because they don't look like pajama pants. They're probably really not. They're just little shorts. So, you know, little black shorts you could wear with anything. The next thing 
is the cutest little sweater. And then look at the back. It's got this ruffle and then this is like fabric down here and it's got like the prettiest little flowers on it and everything. This is so pretty. So there's the back and the front. It is so pretty and super soft. The inside is really, really soft. And I love the color. I love purple clothes. And originally it was $29.99 and I got it for $5 and I got it in an extra large. So I really, really like it. They also had one in pink and I liked that one too, but I think the biggest one was a small. I think they were all smalls and this one, they came in an extra large. So it was like either you're a small or an extra large. And I typically wear larges, but the extra large fits fine and it's super cute. I got Ariana Grande on a sweater. So it looks like a hoodie and it has a hood, but it doesn't have any pockets, which like really tripped me up because I thought for sure it would have pockets. And then I was like, what, where, nope, okay. So I hate that it doesn't have pockets because I think every single piece of clothing should have pockets. But the, the front is really cute and then the back says sweetener and it has the song names on the back personally i think sweetener was her worst album uh i only liked like half of it i think the the cover is really cute and i love her so i wanted to buy something with her face on it and they also have this shirt that says and what about it and i really want that shirt too that's at h m too but i didn't see it in the store but it is online and i remember um during the dangerous woman tour they had some merch from h m also but i never got around to picking them up also they had some at uh urban outfitters right i don't think there's an urban outfitters near me but i know that they had some merch too so it's it's really cool that she doesn't only have her own merch because ugh, stuff is so expensive. I hate that her stuff doesn't go on sale because Taylor Swift stuff goes on sale really quick and she has a lot of like specials and everything. So if Taylor's shirts are on sale for like 13 bucks, I'm like, oh cool, well let's see what Ariana has. And her shirts are like $35. I'm like, yeah, no thanks. Like, I feel like her sweetener stuff should be on sale because she came out with new merch for a new album. So I think her old stuff should start, you know, getting on clearance and getting marked down, but it's all the same price as it was before. And I really like that purple sweater, sweatshirt thing, but it's $60. I got this for $30, by the way. <laughs> so if I can get a sweater for $30 instead of $60 from the website plus shipping, that's what I'm going to do. So it's cool that she has this option, but also I think she should definitely, you know, her her merch should be a little less expensive and she should put the old stuff on sale. That's just me though. I don't know. I'm cheap. It shouldn't be uncommon for merch and stuff like that to go on sale and to be a little bit cheaper because I feel like they have such a ridiculous markup. Like, $60 for a sweatshirt? Are you serious? How much did that cost you to make? Like, nothing. So, I feel like they have way too much of a markup anyway, and some of their stuff should definitely go on sale, but whatever. So, that is what I got from H&M. In a recent video, I talked about how um, Five Below has monster high little collectible things uh for a dollar but i went to the one near me and they didn't have it so i don't know if it's like an online exclusive or if they sold out or what's going on with that but my five below didn't have any of the monster high blind bag things in stock and when you buy online there's like a 25 cent charge for each item you get on top of a shipping cost which like what What's the point of it being five below if you're going to add all these different fees? That's super weird, right? While I was there, I saw this nice little black t-shirt. And it's in a size large, and it was five bucks. It is so soft. And it's soft on the inside and outside. And I really, really love it. It's such a nice little t-shirt. I love black shirts, but I have one that's just plain black. 
and um, I have these jeans that I love to wear with just a plain black t-shirt and it's got like dragons on it and like rips. It's a really cool pair of pants. If my black t-shirt has been worn and is in the wash or in with the dirty laundry, um, I feel like I can't wear my pants. So I got another little black t-shirt and it's so comfortable. I love this shirt. It's so nice. So that's awesome. It's like... Oh, Anything that's like really soft, I want it. Oh my god, that's all I want to wear. This shirt, <laughs> my Jenna and Julian merch, it is really soft too. I've worn this shirt like 20 million times since I got it. So it's washed really well and it's just so comfortable and so soft. So this is a great shirt too. You should totally buy it. From Rue 21, I only got two things. I love shopping in the clearance section pretty much anywhere I go. That's the first place I go to is the clearance because um, usually there's some really nice stuff and if I can pay less for something that's what I'm gonna do. Like, duh. I tend to have issues finding stuff in store at Rue 21 but online I can find like a million things that I want. But it's super weird because when I'm in store I find like two things and then I try them on and nothing fits and I'm like man this sucks. I only tried one thing on and it fit but nothing was in my size. Nothing looked like it would fit me. I was ugh. I I have that problem a lot though um, because I'm a size 12 but sometimes 12s are too small and then the 14s are too big and I go to the junior section and the 13s are too small, the 15s can be too small or too big, nothing fits me perfectly, and I hate that, that's so annoying. So it's like, no matter what I do, I can go to all these different sections and try all these different sizes on and nothing will fit. I actually found a pair of pants at Rue 21 that fit, which is awesome. These are the Wanna Bet a Butt pants. And it's weird because, like, look how small, that waist looks tiny, but it fits just fine. So they look like this, and then they have the butt thing where it goes like that, and it's supposed to make your butt look better. And then they are cuffed at the bottom. And I personally really like it when the jeans are cuffed like this, and they hit you, like, just at that right spot, and then you can wear your little shoes and everything so I really love these and they're super stretchy which I love because look at that because nothing fits so it's it's not so like it either fits or it doesn't it's like it, it fits more people because it's stretchy and then this is technically this is called the high-rise ankle so it, it hits you above the belly button, which is where I love my pants to be, and it hits you at the ankle. But I feel like it hits a little lower than the ankle. When it hits at the ankle, they look like high waters to me, and especially if I'm wearing like tennis shoes with it, it just doesn't look right. These fit really, really well. I was on the hunt for some black pants because that's what I have to wear for work. I have two pairs of black pants, and one of them I found several holes in right at the thighs so uh should probably stop wearing those and then the other pants i just recently got and they're already like you know balling up at the thighs where they've been rubbing together that is so annoying so uh i definitely need to get some more black pants and that's what i hate about like getting a new job i feel like every time i change jobs i have to buy clothes for my job so you're not really saving money by getting a job because you're spending your money on trying to wear clothes for the job. It's so frustrating. What I liked about Books A Million is that you could wear basically whatever you wanted. They didn't really care. And here it has to be a plain red shirt and black pants and black shoes with black soles. I mean, especially because it's part-time retail. Like, why does part-time retail have clothes you have to wear? Like, shouldn't you just be able to wear whatever you want? It's not like people care. You have a name tag. And the last thing that I got from Brew 21 are these little sandals. And these are actually a backup pair. I have these in white and I have them in purple. These are the most comfortable shoes you will wear in your life. And they are super cute. I hate things that go in between my toes. 
so uh, I definitely don't wear any flip flops or anything these are the only like sandals that I wear and your foot just goes in between there and it's really comfortable and super squishy I really love these and they're really cute and they're purple so I love these little sandals and they were on clearance for three dollars so that's awesome because my pair um, I scuff the top up a lot because I just trip on everything so the fronts are all like ripped up and there's a divot where my foot has been because I wear them so often so uh, I figured it's it's time to get a new pair and they're only three bucks and they're super comfortable they're my favorite shoes so I got some of these and I know that they had like 20 million pairs of these at my room so they might have some at yours um, I think I saw them in pink too so you might find them in one of those colors Try them on, see what you think. They're really comfortable. That is what I got from Rue. And then I wanted to show you this little pajama set. I got this back at Bell's Outlet. And it is the cutest little pajama set. I already wore it. <laughs> but look at this. So it's um, purple and it's got little butterflies on it. And then look at the back. The back has like the crisscrossy thing. And it's super cute. So this is the little top. And then it has like a little ruffle at the bottom too, which is super cute. And these are the little shorts, and they also have a ruffle at the bottom too. And then they look like that. These are Juicy Couture pajamas, and I got them for 10 bucks, so that's awesome. They were the Juicy Couture Black Label Sleep set. That's what the little thing says. I noticed that a lot with some pajama sets, it's like the top is plain and then the bottoms have stuff on them or vice versa. And it's like, that's kind of boring. I like when both pairs match. I wear this every time I'm in the drive-thru. I'm always wearing my little pajama set with my little purple shoes. Uh, it kind of looks like a romper if you are in your car and buckled up. It kind of looks like you're just wearing a romper. It doesn't really look like pajamas, which is great. If I'm ever through a drive-thru, I'm wearing my pajamas, always. McDonald's has definitely seen worse, so it's not like I'm worried about it. Who cares? You're not getting out of your car. That's everything that I got. Um, I rambled on way too much. I've also been looking for some black shoes. So if you know of any really, really comfortable black shoes that have like the black sole at the bottom too, let me know. Uh, I went to Skechers because they make my favorite shoes, like the really thick memory foam. Um, but I tried every single pair of black shoes that they had and none of them were comfortable. And I was like shocked because usually I have no problem finding Skechers. And the shoes that I wear right now to work are Skechers. But by the end of the shift, I feel like death, so I don't know what to do about that. I need to find some new shoes. But if you know of really comfortable, like, work shoes, where do you get them? I'd love to know that. I can't find any comfortable shoes, and I think I'm dying, so I need some comfortable shoes. I guess that's everything, so thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.